<sighs> Howdy folks. This here is Chad with the NorthernSurvivalist.com. There's where my fire pit was. And over here is to, this is south, this is west. So the majority of the winds come in this way with an occasional blast from the east. But, um, in fact I can feel it right now coming this, coming this way. So, it gets sucked down there and out through there. Got me a nice little bear where I can put a couple logs there, put put that, cook some food, and I'll get it all, get it all situated. You get my point. And, um, nope, no boulders around here unless I go search far and low for them, or go take pieces of the ripped up road way out there. <laughs> I'd rather not. But anyways, people were asking me what the soil is like around here. You're looking at it. This is a uh, pretty much um, high alkaline. Um, now some plants actually love like this, okay, but very few do, as you can see. Very few do. <laughs> um, now I have heard, you know, you can grow some basic things, um, I even heard, you know, potatoes and stuff like that will grow. Um, if you're out here, you're not going to get any rain like we're going to probably get tonight, in the next week. Um, I think this will be a great place to do a solar still. This is, um, when I get dig down, this is pretty moist stuff. Um, not, it's not totally soaked or anything, but you could find some vegetation. I mean, look, here's a, some vegetation right there, and uh, some more right over there. Do the solar still thingy, and um, shoot. Right. Well, I got the, the tunnel done, and okay, <laughs> just make sure. Okay, 200 pounds. Okay, that's good. Um, Right on. So, yeah, and I'm not, I'm not really worried about having this uh, fire right here so close to that bush because if I really had to, I could remove that bush. It's not like there's uh, um, any shortage of them out here, you know. Um, and plus, the flames are gonna really n probably won't go too much higher than that right there. So, I'm gonna come back and. Uh, Get a fire going and we'll see what happens. Okay. Thanks and we'll be right back. Section two. Okay folks. Hi, welcome back to second part two of uh, my uh, Dakota fire hole. Um, what I did in there was basically uh, um, a freestanding fire where you get the get it nice, you get the Starts on top, then it melts down like a candle. So you can see there's some larger wood down there in the bottom, set up like a log cabin kind of. And well, you know, in the limited space we got. And then start that nice and hot on top. Then it'll just melt down, and that thing will burn for hours. And it appears we got some air going down there. I not, I can't really tell yet, but we'll tell as the fire goes on. But uh. Yep. Here we go, Mora with a ferro rod. And, um, and I'll just, uh, I'm going to get some more smaller uh, chunks to put on here. And, uh, this baby a rolling. So, it looks like it's doing all right. So you put the larger, the largest chunks on the bottom, and then some medium sized, medium sized the other way, then smaller sized, smaller sized, and then, I don't know, I put in, then I put in a bunch of those, these twig stuff, kind of in a whole bunch down there, and then I put the, then I put the, um, on top I put the um, bunch grass with the, um, 
these twigs and um, in these uh, pine needles, excuse me, that go up really good. And, uh, but apparently this is going to be a pretty good fire here. So, uh, yeah, this thing will just melt right down. And that, and that will be more efficient and uh, burn less wood. And, uh, and, you know, that's great. You know, like if you want to build a fire and then go to sleep and you don't want to, you want to get a long night's rest and you don't want to, um, you don't want to, like, say, wake up in the middle of the night and have to restart the fire. <laughs> like at 3 a.m. when it's all cold and everything. Yeah, so. Um, but, yep, I had to get on my hands and knees with, where did my machete go? Oh, it's over here, okay. <laughs> I thought I buried it over there. <laughs> I'm scooping dirt out, but then I remember I, I was chopping up some wood with it. <laughs> all right, um, okay. So, okay, feel wind coming this way. Whether or not it's gonna go down that hole, I don't know, maybe I should have put the hole more over here. <laughs> All I know is I got a good tunnel going down there, so. Yeah, all right, well. Oh, okay, hey, there's gonna be a third segment. Okay, as you can see down there, See how the fire is, uh, here, I'll move the pot real quick. But you see how the, it's blowing in from that hole. Wind's come from over there, blow it in, it blow it that way. Yep. So, anyways, thanks for watching folks. Please comment, rate, or subscribe, northernsurvivalist.com. Thank you.